Hey, it's Dustin from 9design, and in this video I'm going to do something really cool. I'm going to take a video that I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet. I'm going to show you all nine steps that I do in every single one of my videos, and I'm going to show you how I rank it. So right now it's not even live on the internet, and then I'm going to take you through the process of making it live, and I'm going to show you how, in a matter of seconds, I can get a video to rank for the keyword that I've chosen on YouTube on the first page. So I'm excited to show you. Stick with me. Okay, so here we are in the back side of my YouTube channel. I'm about to upload a video. Actually, I've already uploaded it, but I just haven't made it public yet. You can see here that's unlisted. And I'll prove to you right now the, the keyword that we're going for is salon name ideas. And right now, these are the videos that are ranked on the first page for salon name ideas. Let's even go to page two. I'll just show you that I'm not on page two either. And that's because it's not even uploaded yet. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the nine steps. First of all, the first step that I do is I rename the video file my main keyword. So the video file that I uploaded already, um, the file name is salonnameideas.mp4. So next thing I do is I upload the video as private or unlisted, which I have here. It has not been made public yet. And the reason that we do this is because I want to make sure that I optimize the video completely before it get it gets indexed in YouTube. So I keep it unlisted until I'm ready to make it public when everything is optimized and then we set it to public and it will rank. So next thing I do is I add a strategic title. So um, like I said, our keyword that I'm going for is salon name ideas. Um, and so I put that at the very front of the uh, title tag. And then I add something else that's gonna be kind of eye-catching and I throw in my secondary keywords there at the end of the title. So six tips on how to choose a name for your salon. So the next thing that I do, the next step, is I add a strategic description. So I actually had to do this several times because my description was too long, but like I recommend to everybody, you want a long description. I recommend over a thousand words. Um, when I started out, mine was about 1500 words. I don't know the limit on YouTube descriptions, but I reached the limit, whatever it was. So you can see that I have a long description here. I'm giving, um, I'm using my keyword fairly frequently, but it's very natural at the same time. You don't want to keyword stuff within your description. Um, but I just talk about you know what my video is about and give some extra information there. So the next step uh, that I use is add five to ten tags. So salon name ideas. That's my main keyword. Salon name, choosing a salon name, salon marketing, salon branding. And then I always put my YouTube channel name in there. So uh, that's a total of six keywords. This is going to be a keyword that's very niche specific. So there's not like a lot of secondary keywords that I can even put in here. Salon marketing, you'll notice, is is one of my tags. And that's because that's what my channel's about. But when it comes to salon name ideas or naming your salon, um, I suppose I could put that in there. There we go, naming your salon. Added another tag. Anyway, so add six to 10 tags that are relevant to your keyword. Um, the next thing that you wanna do is add an eye-catching thumbnail. So you can always choose these thumbnails, but they don't opt they don't help um, your YouTube video be optimized any more than it already is. So a way that you can optimize it better is adding an eye-catching image as your thumbnail. And what you wanna do is give the name of the image your keyword. So in this case, you can't really see this, I could show you on my desktop, but the name of this image right here is salonnameideas.jpg. So I uploaded that. So you can see everything is really consistent with the keyword that I'm going for. And then the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is add the video to a playlist in the subject of your keyword. So the playlist is right here. Um, I've added it to salon marketing training because I have a whole playlist on um, training for salon professionals and helping them with their marketing. So this is really having to do with branding and salon startup. And so this is part of my salon marketing um, playlist. So I've added it to there. And then I want to show you too, this is kind of like what you need to do to silo your playlist. So there's a, a link from the video or the link for the video is actually in my playlist. Um, and so that points back, the playlist points back to this video. Oops. But when the video is being played, there's a link from my description 
also back to the playlist. So, so it's being linked and the links are siloing uh, back and forth. So that's something that you want to do too, is put the link to your playlist that you've added your video to within your video description. Next thing you want to do is add a location. That This is only the case if you are um, doing a video for a specific city or something that's very local. I didn't do that. If you if you want to do that, if your video is for a local business or whatever, then you're going to add the video location here and it'll do uh, geo coordinates. I'm not going to do that for this video because I want it to rank uh, without using local keywords. I want it to rank all across the world. All right. And then the final thing that you do is you upload a transcript. I'm going to save my changes here just to be sure. Um, upload a transcript. So what I did here was, um, if you click on English, this is going to be one that YouTube creates for you. And what I like to do is I click edit. And then I go through here and I make sure that this box is checked right here, pause video when typing. And so what I've already done is you press play. Hey, Dustin from Dustin and in this video I'm going to give you six tips. And so video, if you want to make an edit, you can just click here, make your edit, it stops the video, and then you just move on to the next box tips. here. But it's really good to be able to have your video transcribed because this is the way that YouTube and Google are going to understand what your video is about because you're giving the entire text transcript to them. So they're going to know um, exactly what your video is about and it's going to help you rank as a result. So I'm just going to save my changes. I'm going to go back. Okay. I'm going to go back to where I'm going to publish it. So um, those are the nine steps. Uh, there's really nothing else that I do. Okay, without further ado, let's make this video public. I like to syndicate the video on Google Plus. So I'm going to share it on Google Plus instantly, and I've added just a little uh, description or yeah, description of the video there that will go on my Google Plus page. And then I'm going to click publish. Okay, so this video is now live on YouTube. I'm going to refresh my keyword salon name ideas, and we'll just see how long it takes for me to get on the first page here for Google to index my video. All right, we're not on the first page yet. Let's try it again. All right, let's just check page two, see if we're on page two. Page three? No, nope, something's telling me if I do this again, I'm gonna be on page one. Boom, there I am, and that was, that was about a minute. It was about five seconds, it was about 55 seconds, five seconds less than a minute. I am already number three on the first page of YouTube. And if you don't believe me, see, page one. I'll even refresh the page. One, two, three. My video is number three on the first page of YouTube for the keywords that I specified, salon name ideas. I love it when this happens, it's so much fun. I did this with my son uh, the other night. He actually created a video and we optimized it with the nine steps that I just showed you. His video was about solving a Rubik's Cube. And so for his keyword, we ranked it. And he was within a minute, just like I showed you. Um, he was about position number nine on the first page. And it blew him away. He was pretty exciting. So as you can see, it is possible to rank a YouTube video on the first page of YouTube for your keywords in less than a minute. And it's pretty awesome to be able to do that. So if you're interested in learning more about how to do this, I have a PDF download with the nine steps that I used. And if you would like to download that PDF, go ahead and click the link right below this video. It'll give you a free download and uh, you can use that for all of your future YouTube uploads. So hopefully that's helpful. Be sure to get, ask any questions in the comment section below if you have any and if this video has been helpful or you liked it or you're pretty impressed with ranking the video in less than a minute, then definitely give me a thumbs up. So that's it. This is Dustin from 9design.org and make today extraordinary.